The mixing of portrait and landscape images in a slideshow doesn't work very well from a visual point of view, especially when we use a fade transition. Now one solution is to present the portrait images in a picture-in-picture -picture style, maybe slightly reduced in size, with an outline and maybe a drop shadow. Maybe we could add three portrait images, either all together or perhaps one at a time. If our landscape image is a little bit fussy, we can even blur it slightly to make the portrait format images stand out even better. Now let's take a look at creating this in the simplest way I can think of. With my cursor at the bottom of the screen, I'm going to right click and add a blank to start. Then I'm going to drag down the landscape image twice. The first one will be sharp, the next one will soften and add the portrait format images. With the second landscape selected, let's go into the objects and animation screen, click into the grey area here to lose that bounding box around the outer edge. Now we need to add an image. In our case, we're going to add three images. Click here, and I'm going to hold my control key and select all three, and open. As soon as they appear, we'll see them over on the right hand side. Once again, I'm going to hold my control key, select all three of those inset images, and I'm going to select the first of the keyframes as well. So they're all selected. Going up to the zoom here, I want to drop this down to about 80. And before we lose the selection on all of these images, let's go to our properties. Tip to add a simple border. We'll just stay with white for convenience. 10 pixels in width and I'll tick the shadow. Now if we go down to the bottom right corner, if I just select one of the images, the top one, we're going to move that to the left. To do that, we go to the animation screen and I'm going to just click into the pan X. Then I can use my down arrow to nudge the image to the left. Position it nicely with the center one and it looks like a value of about minus 65 is working well. Back to the bottom right corner, if that's the image on the left, this one will leave in the center. Let's select this one and move it to the right. Well, if we move the left one minus 65, this one has to go the other way. So we can speed up the process by just over typing that value. Now we can go back down to the bottom right corner, select the 16-9 aspect ratio, go to the blur option, and if I just put my mouse over the R and drag to the right, you can see I can soften that nicely. Now if we close down the objects and animation screen, we can take a look at what we have here. Now what I could do, I suppose, is to drag another version of that landscape down. So we start with a sharp image. The three insets come on screen and the image beneath softens. And then we can go back to the original image or, of course, something slightly different. Now, if we wanted these inset images to appear one at a time, it's now quite easy. If we hit Control C, we can copy that. Then Control V, we can paste one copy, two copies. Taking each of these in turn, if we take the first one back into the objects and animation screen, I can select the middle portrait image and delete it with the delete key and the same with the one on the right. If I use the options up at the top right here to skip to the next one, now I can just click the last one and delete that. When we close, there we have one, two, and three. We can program that to music or commentary or whatever we're working on. 
There are quite a few variations that we can apply to this type of presentation, quickly and easily as you can see, with just a few examples here. Now imagine adding animation to these 3-2 portrait format images, and a world of creative ideas can open up. I'll see you next time.